love it. Hello there and welcome to The Corner Plot. My name is Helen and today I am making my first ever petticoat. Now, rather than make one out of a pattern that I already have, that is nice and simple and easy to follow, I've seen a picture in a book that's rather complicated looking and decided that's the one I want. So, this is the picture. This is from Corsets and Crinolines by Norma, Nora War. I love this picture of a frilly petticoat. Uh, it's from 1869. Petticoat of stiff silk or starched cotton to be worn over a small crinoline or without one. Well, I should be wearing it without one. The reason for this is that I have made myself another skirt. I've made myself a seven gore skirt out of a, a lovely fabric I got from the Birmingham Boring Market. Um, I haven't shown that process in a video because it's very similar to my five gore skirt, except it's just got another gore and the material is quite dark, so it doesn't really show up that well on the camera. Because it has quite a lot of um, fullness and pleats in the back, um, I would like to have a petticoat underneath it that just helps support those pleats a little bit. And I saw this picture and I fell in love. So this is, it looks quite complicated, but essentially I think it is quite simple. It has a, a panel at the front, which is I'm going to, I'm going to assume is an A-line panel that just covers um, the front half of of the body and um, that looks to be about two thirds of the way down the leg and then the rest is just gathered bits this one's probably sort of twice the width of the bottom of this or more even looking at the number of gathers on there but I'll probably do it twice the width and then the back is made up of um, what looks to be another panel that's maybe a third of the height and then gathers and gathers all the way down and um, a sort of a, a bustly pleaty bit there as well. Now the issue with this is it's going to be a lot of gathering. I don't really have the patience for gathering, which I think is probably why my gathering game is abysmal. The cotton I have, I have not pre-washed. I have noticed a slight difference in the size when I, I do wash it, but it's not really enough for me to be worried about. So I'm just going to go straight ahead without pre-washing. I do not recommend this for anyone, just in case, unless you know your fabric is going to stay how it is when you cut it. As this isn't a very fitted garment, the only thing that's fitted really is going to be the waistband. Um, I'm not too fussed about it. It's not going to shrink, hopefully, all that much. The waistband, I think I'm going to put buttons on the side of it rather than have gathered um, because it doesn't really lend it to that. I don't really see much point in drafting a pattern for this because it is essentially just rectangles of fabric. So as long as I have notation of what size of rectangles I've used, there's no point in having a pattern for it. So let's get started. The front panel here which is just an a-line panel and then at the bottom of that is going to be this gather so that's this panel and the bottom gather and then we've got a square here so it's going to be a, a square panel here for the back that will be gathered at the top a bottom gather that is gathered to the bottom of the the square and then a middle gather that will be gathered and then attached midway on the back panel. And then this is the kind of tricky bit. What I've got with this is I've just got a square of fabric. I'm going to, I've got strips here that are about 10 centimeters plus enough to do a little hem. And I'm going to attach the bottom one there and then the next one will be sewn there and then there and then one at the top and then that will be attached 
to the waistband on top of the little back bit. I could, of course, look up how these were put together, but where's the fun in that? There's an awful lot of fabric here. I don't know how many meters I've used, but a lot. And I'm very glad that you can rip cotton if you're just doing square bits. And I've saved myself the bother of hemming the bottom of a couple of the, the main big bits just by cutting it on the selvage because it's quite a nice selvage and it's only a, a petticoat. I'm not bothered too much about um, trimming it, although I could trim it with lace if I wanted to. But there we go, I'm going to attach, I'm going to gather all the gathered bits, I'm going to sew some gathering thread onto them, and then the only bit of actual machine sewing is putting the gathers on to the actual squares and then attaching it all together. So I'm going to assemble the back piece, assemble the front piece, attach it all together, and then put the back little bum bustly bit, assemble that and attach that to the waistband maybe a few tacking threads just to keep it in place but we'll see what happens so i gave up on the idea of doing gathering because all of that gathering just filled me with dread so i've done box pleats instead all the way along and i'm just going to sew those down i've done two pins in each just to to hold it just right because i've never done box pleats before um, at least I probably have, but if I have, it's been years ago. So I'm just going to sew those down and then I'll flip them over and I might trim the edge with some lace just to, to hide the join. This is beautiful. I'm already thrilled with this. I think it might end up being a little bit too long, but I'll sort that out when I put the waistband on. Look how gorgeous this looks. It's so cute! Right, next lot. That's the front panel done. Now I need to do the back bits. So for the for the box pleats, all I've done is I've taken this long piece and divided it up into multiple sections by just taking it, folding it in half, and then putting a pin there, and then folding it in half again, putting pins there and there, until I get down to a decent size. A decent size. And then I'm, I've done the same with the backing and folded it up, and I'm just doing the, the box pleats by putting it into the centre and folding this bit out just in a standard way of doing box pleats and it's just about just about coming together on this one So because I had to sew the second row of pleats directly onto the right side of my fabric, I'm just covering that join over with a nice little bit of lace. the same bit of lace that I've used to cover the bottom one so hopefully that'll all match up nicely this is the section that goes over the bum essentially just to fill up that, that little bit there and I've got these great long sections to put on here gathering at this stage would probably be easier but I've done everything else with pleats so I'm going to continue to do this with pleats um, there are four levels, so I've done the first one. Next one I'm going to go sort of there, and then there, and then another layer sort of there. And then this bit attaches to the waistband. 
Oh, so I'm just going to get this done, sew it together on the machine, and then we'll try and put it all together with the waistband. What I might do is use the same waistband that I have for my drawers, um, or I might just do a narrower waistband. I, I haven't quite decided yet. Okay, so I gave up after three frills on this thing because I was just getting fed up with it. So that's what it looks like now, just three frills over the bum. And I've put on the, um, the waistband and just about to fold it over and hem it down. I'm trying to decide what to do for the closures. I think it'll probably be buttons. Um, so this is the overlap I've got, so I'll probably put some buttonholes on here and um, sew a few buttons on there just so that I've got a bit of adjustability on it perhaps. But all in all, I'm quite happy with it so far. Um, I'm looking forward to getting this sewn down, getting some buttons on and trying it on. And then once I've tried it on, I'm going to put this new skirt over the top of it and then hopefully then I can sort out the hem for that skirt so a little bit more sewing to do for tonight this is what it looks like with my new skirt on over the top i haven't hemmed this skirt yet so that's what i need to do next And this is the final product. So I've put three little buttons in along here just to make sure that waistband is nice and, and sturdy. One little flounce at the front, edged with lace, and then two flounces at the back, and then this bum panel with three flounces on it. Yes, they were originally going to be four, but then I got fed up with it. So I think that's actually not a bad size i think an extra flounce would be okay but that's what i've done and then there's a little box pleat just here because this back panel is just a perfect square so um it doesn't quite fit but it's not fitted i mean but there's plenty of room for movement which is nice i think i'd probably if i was going to do it again i'd make the back panel wider and put in a few more box pleats at the back just to because at the moment that's the extent of my extent of my stride and i just i worry that i might i don't know if i had to wanted to run or really stride out i might just i don't know it feels a bit strange but all in all i'm quite happy i think it's very very cute make sure that that bum fluff is bum fluff <laughs> To try and make sure that the the ruffles over the bum um, are actually over the bum but it feels quite swooshy i quite like the way it feels i'm going to check it out in the long mirrors just make sure that i'm happy with it completely um this skirt fabric i quite like but it's a pain to work with um I'm not too happy with the way the seams are. I think probably once it's been washed as a garment and maybe pressed, I haven't pressed it, then it might sort of just relax into itself a bit. But uh, at the moment it's a bit like a brand new haircut. It's not quite feeling right. But I'm quite pleased with that. So I'm going to just check out in the long mirror and then I will hem the skirt and see what that looks like over the top.